Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to talk briefly about a contradiction that exists within cycling training overall and it's quite an important one and that is why it's hard to train easy and conversely why it's easy to train hard. So the problem is that if you train too hard on your easy days, the days where you're supposed to be taking it taking it really casually and the idea is to allow the body to rest and recuperate it means that you're not going to be able to train as hard as you need to do to hit those high intensity power numbers and heart rate figures on your hard days. So there are a few reasons why it's hard to train easy. Some of those include if you commute for example, if you do your training while you're commuting to work there are often a lot of other cyclists out often riding quite hard and to leave your ego at the door and to ride really easily when everyone else around you is seemingly going past you and riding quite hard that can take quite a lot of discipline. Another common one is hills and if you're like me and you live in a hilly area again you really need to keep your ego in check when you come to anything resembling a steep gradient because you're going to be riding really slow in order to keep that that power number or that heart rate figure down. Another thing that I think is affecting people more and more is that we log our rides on Strava. So we know that our peers and often many of the cyclists are gonna be looking at our rides and seeing what we've done. To have that in your head the entire time really can make it difficult to rein yourself back and train as easily as you should do on those recovery days. So you might be thinking that one of the ways around this is to train on a turbo trainer, maybe using Trainer Road or something like Zwift. But again, that doesn't usually get around the fact that other people are going to see it. And also that riding indoors inherently is quite boring. And if you ride at a very easy intensity and do your recovery rides indoors, it makes the time go even slower and makes the whole experience quite, quite boring and quite mundane. So there are a few solutions to this problem and contradiction and a lot of them center around your mindset. It's important to understand that training is a lot about balance and if you have high intensity work that you need to do you also need to offset that with some recovery and riding really easily. The main thing though is to actually know the purpose of why you're doing certain rides and if you understand exactly the reasons behind riding easily and the fact that riding easily and recovery is actually part of training and not avoiding training, mentally you start to get more on board with the concept. I think it's important to understand that you don't need to be fatigued and run ragged all the time and you can really take the opportunity during these easier or recovery rides just to train and ride with no pressure and just enjoy yourself and actually make a game of seeing how easily you can ride. Gamifying training is something that I've found works well across the board to improve motivation and you can use this kind of concept with recovery rides to try and be in the right training zone for as much time as possible. So when you get home and do your post ride analysis you can look at that nice timing zone graph and see that you did everything you needed to do to hit the objective of that workout and it is a workout even though the purpose is rest and recovery. Still part of training. So that's the message that I really wanted to convey with this video. And in summary, I would say that even though it's hard to ride easy and it often doesn't feel like you're doing what you need to do, if you remember that if you're willing to do things that are hard to other people and are too hard for other people to do, that's when you'll really start to get ahead of the competition. It's very important to stay motivated, understand the purpose of why you're doing certain things and ultimately realize that rest and recuperation is a really, really important part of training. It's where you actually get fitter and respond to the higher intensity training that you've done in the past and that it's important to balance that training plan with easy workouts and hard workouts. So I plan to make more of these types of videos of musings on training uh, in the near future and if you've got any specific topics or questions that you'd like me to cover then please leave them in the comments section but I've got a fair, a fair list at the moment for me to cover in the future. So thanks again for watching and if the topic of this video 
resonated with you then please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed to the channel maybe have a look around and see if it's for you and if it is then maybe hit the subscribe button but I'll catch you on another video soon. Enjoy your next bout of training.